Hello and welcome to Let's Play The Witcher Session number three With me, Santu Um, yes, so A few things have happened Um, first of all I have played since I ended the last recording to grind, basically, for gold. And I got a book and gained a level, basically. And that's about it. I haven't talked to anybody, I have not progressed the story, so, you know, it's a different time of day, but we are pretty much where we left off. No, not left off. Stopped. Last time. Yeah. So. Country in. It should be morning, I think. Because, you know, I think we should walk around during the day as well. I mean, when you think about it, so far we've only traveled at night. Which is because, you know, to gain Bargast skulls. But now I'm thinking we should try and talk to some people. <laughs> and to do that, they have to be awake. So, let's start the game and, uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, hello. Okay, so... Um, hero... So basically, I put the skill points into stamina. And, uh... Wait a minute. Yeah, stamina. To gain the resistances. And, uh, dexterity, yes. So one point in dexterity. Because this is a very useful skill to have. And in case we get into any fist fights. You know, that's nice. Also, is there anything in here that I should... Yeah, I collected a bunch of ingredients as well. And I still haven't drunk this. Frightness Vision. Let's do that now. Boom. That should give us a bronze talent. I think. Yes. No. I guess we can't view it now because we're not resting. Okay. So where were we? There's a few new journal entries. I think. Yeah. On the mysterious mage and Mikul. So, Mikul is a widely respected. Mikul is widely respected because he has become a city guard, and that's quite a career for someone from the outskirts. He seems lazy and lecherous. He cares little about the problems of the outskirts and tends only to his own interests. By day, Mikul stands guard at the gate to Vizima. Oh yeah, I guess. But I've read these. What about... What about the other two that I need to talk to? Um, Harren and Odo. I guess they're not here yet. Well, anyways. Mysterious Mage. Um, the Mysterious Mage using the Salamander symbol is a skilled alchemist who is researching mutation. So yeah. When did we learn this again? I guess it was at the bridge when we talked to Kalkstein. Okay, anyways, um, yeah. Any monsters? Yeah, because I, I read the books. No. Dogs. Are domesticated animals, even wild dogs, stay close to human settlements. No immunity susceptible to fear and knockdown attempts. Experienced witchers use the group style while fighting multiple dogs. Okay, so here's one. Or we can use group style. Dogs attacking groups, taking advantage of numerical superiority. 
Whoever claims that dog is man's best friend has probably never tamed a wyvern. Oh, <laughs> yeah, those druids. Um, Bloodsucker. Yeah, these guys. Occurrence in swamps and marshes. Immune to poison. Low resistance to stun attempts. So they can't be stunned. Sensitive to fire. Strong to fire. I guess the modders forgot to. Because they redid the texts. Okay, but anyways. The strong style is most efficient against bloodsuckers. Experienced witchers warn against using the group style while fighting multiple bloodsuckers. Because a dying bloodsucker explodes spraying acid on its opponent. A skilled witcher is able to kill the monster while evading the explosion. This is a very useful bit of information. <laughs> a very useful bit of information. Just so you know. Um, Abomination Lymph, Albers Crystals, and Blood Blood. The Bloodsiger, a grotesque monster from the swamps, causes terror among peasants because it pours di digestive juices over the wounds of those who are still alive and then dines on their half-digested intestines. Lovely. Now we know about Drowners, but Drowned Dead are creatures of the night. They appear on the banks of ponds, lakes, and rivers. Immune to bleeding, okay. Blinding and poison attempts. They are fearless and immune to stun attempts. Whoa, okay. So this is new. But I can knock them down, apparently. So Ard is still co going to come in handy. They are sensitive to silver and susceptible to knockdown attempts, yeah. The strong style is most efficient, okay. It's the same with the drowned dead, as with the drowners. These creatures poison their victims with cadaverin. They often attack as a group. Cadaverin, blah blah blah. Particularly strong and dangerous drowners are known as the drowned dead. So the big guy we saw on the bank of the river. Okay, so he was a drowned dead then. Simple people see no difference between the, dr the drowner and the drowned dead. Encountering either of them is equally deadly. We might suppose, though, that the most gloomy legends concern the drowned dead rather than drowners. Okay. Frightener, ghoul, revere. We know this. Wolves. Live in the wilderness. When they are hungry, they approach human settlements and hunt farm animals. No immunities. Susceptible to knockdown attempts. The strong style is most efficient against wolves. Experienced witchers use the group style to fight multiple wolves. So basically, I'm gathering that the group style is sort of a um, way for us to fend off animals, basically. So it's not useful against humans, but animals, you know, because they want to avoid getting hit. Yeah, so be okay. That kind of makes sense. Um, they are attacking groups again. Beast fangs, beast liver. There was so much snow that winter, that winter that we had to dig tunnels just to get to the privy, and had icicles in our pants by the time we got back. Wolves came out of the forest, ate the cattle, and then surrounded the house. They were howling madly. Surrounded by that pack of wolves, we felt like three little pigs. Oh, yeah. And we have uh, yeah. formula, spectre oil. There is a mysterious boundary between the worlds of the dead and the living, one which is easier to cross for restless spectres than for humans. To injure a spectral opponent, first anoint a blade with this oil. Only then will the weapon truly be part the curtain dividing the worlds, thereby damaging the spectre. The oil is made by okay, blah blah blah, long lasting. Most oils are long-lasting. So, we're talking... was it 24 hours? I'm not sure. No, this is not a blind LP, but it has been a while. <laughs> so I'm not sure. And they might have changed things in the mod, again. I keep talking about it, but I'm kind of excited. Woo! Okay. Three more entries. Cult of the Eternal Fire. Worshippers of the Eternal Fire believe in the undying flame as a symbol of survival and a guide through darkness. 
they view it as a harbinger of progress and better days to come. Bullshit. Clerics of the Eternal Fire oversee the faithful as well as their temples, where flames burn continuously. The Order of the Flaming Rose the cult's militant arm, yeah. Typical. <laughs> I should say. More on magic. Sorcerers seek out talented children and teach them. Okay, yeah, so another new book. Magic is the part of bending the power of chaos to one's will. Practitioners of the art must master a vast and complicated corpus of knowledge, and it seems women have a special predisposition for it. Sorcerers seek out talented children and teach them. Okay, so that's why we have more female mages than male. The power bound in spell formulae may be used for healing, teleportation, destruction, creating illusions, and altering form. The most famous spells are named after their creators, for example, for example, Alzar's Thunder or Marigold's Hailstorm. Oh, Marigold. Triss. Thanks to magic, it is also possible to create magical glyphs and amulets, such as the Witcher's Medallions. Up there. The Witcher's signs are very simple spells, mostly kinetic or mind-influencing. To use them, one needs concentrated will and a hand gesture. Casting signs is not time-consuming, so Witchers use them when fighting monsters. Yeah. And more Witchers. So we got up to here last time. These two are new. People need Witchers, but our Simon says... Right? No. Wait. We did read this. Yeah. But, mutagens and magic render witchers' bodies resistant to all kinds of disease, even to the point of outright immunity. Yeah, we're pretty much immune to anything. Except certain poisons. Yeah. We're not immune, but we're resistant to poisons. Immune to most diseases, including the Catriona, which is very lucky for us. Okay, and then, yeah, um, I noticed also when I was editing the footage from the last session that I skipped one shrine. So we'll be doing that now. And I made a few potions and one with albedo. We talked about the secondary ingredients. Three samples of Spectre Oil, two of Necrophage Oil. I think we'll go and kill the big ghoul that the hunter mentioned, like now, after after we've placed the candle on one of the shrines. And we're going to need this for that. So, let's move, let's not linger, we've wasted enough time. Let's go! Oh, the drunkards. Yeah, oh, this guy, I should say, is... Greetings! Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I paid both taxes and bribes many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and short for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing. But think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. What he just said makes no sense whatsoever. Unless they started ignoring human criminals and replacing them with, dwar with dwar dwarves, which is, <laughs> you know, but yeah. 
let's not make him hang angry, but you know, I'd, I'd like to know more about the Scoia'tael. Who are the Scoia'tael? Terrorists or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoia'tael is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Hmm. Both of these options are <laughs> kind of insinuating that he, you know, might mingle with them, but um, do you trade with them? Do you trade with them? Fuck off! You won't provoke me! All gone. Yeah, so. Shove off, troublemaker! I think. Well, I hope. I hope he should calm down in 24 hours. If he doesn't, well. Yeah, anyways, he's a blacksmith. And these guys can work the meteorite stones that we found. Well, we've only uh, found one. Terrible times. Yeah. But, um, into swords. Into steel swords. Making them better. So, let's hope he calms down. Because if we find more during the first chapter, we might want to talk to him about it. So... That was Odo's house. We're not going there. We're going back to the crypt. Which is there. Yeah, crypt. And Abigail's hut. The shrine. Yeah, this is the one we're missing, so I think. Pick up the myrtles. And this time we can actually see something, which is nice, you know. Yeah, so we haven't activated this one. So there. I promised the Reverend I'd light this for the night. For the night? Okay, so we can't do it now. But the creep was this way this way, so let's go. I'm wondering I'm fresh graves. Plague must have visited. I was talking about these. Yeah. The plague. Oh come on. But let's see. We have plenty. Well not plenty. This is like nothing. Belissi is good because it has Rubido as a secondary substance, meaning if I make um, potions with Rubido in it, they regenerate health, regardless of the other effects. Albedo, I think, gives the poison <laughs> potion reduced toxicity, and the game has frozen. Be right back. Okay. Greeting. Greetings. Yes, I call. I'll, I'll make. I got not, what not, can I? Yeah. Who would tell? Do you fuck?
Okay, and we're back. Um, yeah. This is the first time that's happened in a very long while. I just updated FFSplit, um, so I'm wondering if that's somehow missing with... because that's what I'm using to record. Hmm. Puzzling. Anyways, we... No, it's not like <laughs> the entire operating system blue screened, so we're good, I hope. Let's take these. We might want to take this as well, so... But there's one inside there. Well, okay, whatever. Ritual magic. Let's go in. Now, for this fight, we are going to have to consume some potions. So let's save. Let's apply the oil onto the blade. This was always nice, you, you can see the grease on it. Then... We... Should I or should I not? I probably should, because I'll, I'm going to be getting it, and I didn't drink this again. <sighs> Swallow is a pretty expensive potion to make. You need strong alcohol to do it. But, um, well, drink this, first of all. Gives us the talent. Just so we don't forget. <laughs> Swallow. And Tony Owl. Well, let's move in further and see how we fare against these guys. Yeah, so these guys, like Mikol said, they came to clear the rubble from this doorway, if you remember. This way was blocked the last time we were here. So... Is it cool? Come on, let's lure him out. Because I'm sure there's more of them there. And let's see how this works. Thirteen. Yeah, much better. And it also seems the extra dexterity is helping, so... Fourteen, twelve, he's bleeding. Yeah, this is... This is good. Okay. So two down. Let's... Oh, hello. Parry. seems they always contain ghoul blood now, which is good, I guess, because, you know, Nigrito. Nigrito gives us more strength, basically, so we do more damage with sword blows. Secondary substance again. We can clear weak walls with art. So, boom. Should be okay. No ghouls. This salt Peter again. Bombs, which is good. Forty orange, not bad. Hello. Much. But 
we're pretty well off considering all the books we bought. And I've stored them in the in, in so we can sell them later to get more money back. Okay, who's where? Um must be in here. Boom. Two. Crap. This is really good. I'm hitting for 13 per hit. And previously, I remember we were hitting for 3. So, that's quite an improvement. 10 damage. That's saving us quite a bit of health as well. We don't have to spend, a, spend as long fighting them. Because they die so fast. Okay, now, save. Save. Why are you not saving? There's a big one in there. Quick save didn't work for some reason. Again, I'm kind of worried. <laughs> Recent crash and all, but... <sighs> okay. So here is... Okay, yeah, run. Fuck. Sorry. So, swallow. He's fast. Okay, run, you little bitch. <laughs> yeah, I should have prepared. So we drink the potions beforehand this time. <sighs> I'm going to see if I can take him out with just my sword. So, take the swallow. Need to keep an eye on the toxicity. I might have to start making potions with albedo. Just so I can take more of them. Because once once the red dots appear on my screen, it means my body is so full of poison that it actually reduces my parry and dodge. <laughs> no, slows me down. Makes me feel dizzy. Or Geralt here. Makes him feel dizzy. But yeah, so Swallow and Blizzard. This is very good. But let's wait for our health to recover for a bit. And the region is really fast now because of this. Every new level of stamina gives us like 25% increase in regeneration. So yeah. Very good, and the reason I'm leveling this is because of... I'm not really, again, I'm not trying to power level or anything, but this it looks like it's going to be necessary in the future, so... Yeah, it's a big one. So we go in there, because Blizzard doesn't last very long. So. I think we have enough have enough health now, so go in. Drink the potion. Boom. He's still hitting us. Oh damn it. Okay. saying sigh. I don't know. Well, okay. Swallow. Tony Owl. I think we should save this. It's not like the potion itself is that toxic. This because I want to be able to use science, basically. And get some food in there as well.
yeah, um, yeah, so, uh, about my hero build, or, yeah, um, the thing is, because the mod makes it so that damage is mainly determined by the type of weapon you have, I might not be putting any... points into these. I don't know. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. But I'm really starting to lean towards a more sign based build. Specifically Erd and Igni and Ard and Helio, some of Heliotrop Gwen. It's kind of good if you're surrounded and you need to drink a potion, but otherwise, not really. Yeah. Quells fire, quells fire. But not poison damage. Oh well. Yeah, I think we're good, so let's get the sword out and move earlier this time. Wait for our health to recover and get back in there. Maybe should drink the blizzard as well. Or maybe not. Blizzard! The music is really loud. Lower that some. Okay, move. It's weird how sometimes it's still really friggin' loud. Why is it not music volume zero? Try using Igni. Boom. Thirteen. I guess it's better than nothing. Okay, move again. <sighs> you know, we need to be smart about this because, well, <laughs> last time I waited too long and it was the end of me, so. 
Maybe just stick to the Igni. And boom! I hope he's not regenerating or anything like that, because be unfortunate. This guy has a lot of health. <laughs> I might try stunning him and Oh, yes! Whew. 